Chef Talk with Kyle Cherick is brought to you by the following presenting sponsors. I, I've matured to realize that I want to serve what the guest wants to eat. You get a chance to feed somebody and, and, and show off your food to them. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a rare opportunity to really express yourself into somebody else's body. We are real food for real people. For this Chef Talk with Kyle Cherick, I catch up with Chef Francesco Mangano of Osteria Pavaro in Madison. It is a restaurant that is deeply loved by followers of cuisine, foodies, and Madison restaurant tours alike. It's, it's rich, it's honest, it's, it's just terrific Italian cooking. It's Chef Talk with Kyle Cherick and Chef Francesco Mangano. So you have simple scratch dishes. Mm -hmm. you you get supplied from all the local farms that everybody else does. Mm -hmm. You make salumi that chefs have told me, chefs I respect have told me, is as good if not better than some of the other more lauded names in salumi. Sure. But you don't broadcast any of this and you're, you're underpriced for the market. Yes. Why? Do you Why? not ever want to retire? Or are you just, <laughs> is this charity work? No, it's, it's not charity work. But to me, again, going back to the concept of fine dining, you want to be accessible to people. When you think about fine dining, you think a uh, price point for a dinner maybe that's about 40, 50, sometimes 60 or $70 a person. Mm -hmm. How many people, especially after 2008 and the economic crisis, especially after that, can go out every week to a restaurant and spend seventy to eighty dollars a person. I don't think many can. Yeah. Not right now. Uh, and so, why do you want to price? Why do you make, want to make a, a restaurant? No matter what you cook, uh, one time experience or one year experience <clears throat> or once every six month experience. I don't. I don't want that. And I want this to be, like I said, a neighbor restaurant. When people feel comfortable coming every week, trying different things and coming back the next week. But if you price that high. You can. So for me, I take the loss on the profit. I take the, you know, the cut on the amount of money I can make. I'm sure these guys suffer a little bit because, you know, you could be paying me even an extra buck an hour in other restaurants downtown, but we're part of a good experience, a great experience, I think, and there's something to learn here. And it's gratifying to see those people walk into the door that you can say hi, I recognize their name and call them by name every week instead of once a year. So, and that's why we do it. Fine dining. Uh, how much do you like that term? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine dining is not really for me. We were talking about this before. I, it, it, to me, it's, you say fine dining about six, seven, eight restaurants around downtown. It, it's almost like calling not so fine all the other restaurants that are not called fine dining. So, what is what does that mean? I mean, they don't cook well because they're not called fine dining. So, no, I don't, I don't like that term. And I, don't, I wouldn't even call us fine dining. We have the same uh, suppliers or farmers or any other restaurant downtown, like Petual or Nostrano or Harvest. But our price point is a lot lower. And You're not and a billboard for all that no, stuff. No, no, no. And we've been you know, running under the radar for so many years. We've been open eight years and still have people that live maybe three or four blocks from here. They don't know we're here. Because we don't advertise much, we don't. We're not trying to drag people in. I'm happy when people come in and then they have a good experience, good food, uh, simple food, which is what we make. And maybe the next week they're back with you know, relatives or parents or girlfriend or wife, and, and because they enjoy it. And 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 we're built on that. We're built on that word of mouth. It eventually becomes adding regulars. And mm. It is a it is a neighbor restaurant now, and it is a bulk of regulars that keep on coming. Sometimes even lunch and dinner, we have, we have a couple of guys that come lunch and dinner maybe two or three times a week. I mean, it's those people, of course you want to have more customers, but it's those, that core of regulars that make your restaurant stay alive and be here every week to, you know, to enjoy do what we do. Party fillets, one is rare. Some 
play one rare. One chicken. Party style. Seven party salmon. Two mushroom risotto entrees.